previous videos, you've heard me discuss Antarctica and how they're going to open up more land for us. A new frontier, the world beyond the poles. I don't know if people pay attention closely to our president, Donald Trump's words, but he clearly is a flat earther because of the words that he uses are in harmony with that particular model. He calls these places frontiers, foreign skies. He uses words that are in harmony with that particular understanding and model of the universe. Because when you become a billionaire, you will notice that astrology becomes part of their ritual, of their lifestyle. I live here in Las Vegas and we have a lot of casinos that are owned by billionaires. For example, when you go to Paris, if you look on the Hilton um, balloon, you'll notice that the astrological signs are all around the Paris balloon here in Las Vegas. Also, if you go over to the Venetian, you'll notice astrological symbolism all throughout the fascia of that. So the point is this. The experiments were to take the cadence of war and turn it into a renaissance. And in order for that to happen, land and resources and production and people and a new way of living shall be introduced. New energy, new math, welding, carpentry, all these things are starting to take place. Antarctica has one of the largest internet cables going to it now. So you can see where the future is headed. So there'll be a lot of jobs, a lot of opportunities. I'll let you listen just to a snippet of what President Donald Trump said regarding a space program. In other words, out into the space of Earth itself, beyond. Now we are ready to begin the next great chapter of American space exploration. This is a very important day. This is a very important gathering. A new generation of young people seeks to challenge, really challenge hard to get their talent and their skill to work. And now we're giving them a forum and a platform from which they can put that genius to work. Legions of welders and metal workers, scientists and engineers stand ready to build a powerful new rocket and gleaming new spaceships. And that goes with all of the other things that we're building in our country. Our nation of pioneers still yearns to conquer the unknown because we are Americans and the future belongs totally to us. Once more, we will launch intrepid souls blazing through the sky and soaring into the heavens. Once more, we will summon the American spirit to tame the next great American frontier. And once more, we will proudly lead humanity. And that's what it is. It's humanity beyond the earth and into those forbidden skies, but they will not be forbidden for long. You're very important people. You have a great, great contribution. What you're doing has been incredible, but it will be even more incredible, far more incredible, because we are giving you a platform the likes of which nobody has ever been given before. I am a big believer. You will go out there and you will take that frontier, which is largely unknown by man or woman, and you will learn everything there is to know about it. And what you're doing is so important. Remember, economically, militarily, scientifically, in every way, there is no place like space. Good luck, General Dunford and the Joint Chiefs. I want to wish you a lot of luck with Space Force. But that shows how important it is. Congratulations on your tremendous success, but you're going to have far more success right now. Thank you very much. Thank you. Look forward to seeing you in the world.